Hello everyone! So I've decided it's time for another downsizing video. I've been feeling kind of dissatisfied with my collection lately and um, whenever I feel that way I just think it always helps to go through my collection and pull out things that I'm not really interested in anymore and you know I do this kind of semi-regularly like a couple times a year and I always find that when I do it I leave it feeling excited about my collection again and that's sort of exactly what I'm looking for right now. So yes I will say um, I'm going to take a look at basically everything in my collection in this video with the exception of IU. I have thought about it and I'm pretty satisfied with that collection. I'm not looking to downsize it at all. So I won't even look at those binders in this video, but um, everything else I'll at least take a look at. Some collections will probably only lose like a couple things. Others are gonna lose a lot. I can already tell you I'm looking to heavily downsize my collection of Hitch on large inclusions. I'm just not into large inclusions that much lately. Yeah, I will put timestamps uh, for the different artists so you can skip around to different artists that you're interested in. I'll also probably start with the smaller collections and move up to the largest downsizing collection. So yeah, on that note, let's just get started. So the first thing I wanted to look at is my miscellaneous um, collections binder. So yeah, I am looking to downsize this um, a little bit. So first up we have my Enhypen collection. So originally I collected three members. Then in my uh, last downsizing video, actually, I decided that I wasn't going to collect them anymore. I would just cut the collection down to my most favorite cards and then leave it at that. Um, you know, it's been like, I don't know, half a year, I think, since that last video. And at this point, I feel like I'm ready to let go of this collection entirely. I feel like I don't need these anymore. So I'm just going to take out um, all of these cards. If that's all six of those. I'll go ahead and take these out. Okay, so next we have my little mini Sylvie collection. Um, yeah, again, I don't really feel like I need to downsize this. I'm happy with all these cards. I think I'm pretty satisfied with this. And I'm also satisfied with the postcards. Again, I don't necessarily want to grow this or anything, but I think I'm happy with everything I have. Next we have these Eyes One cards. This one is kind of similar to um, the Red Velvet collection in that, you know, Eyes One isn't a group that I ever really fully collected. I just got a few cards that I thought were pretty and never intended it to go beyond that. I also have um, just some of these postcards, but again, I'm really feeling the desire to downsize and cut out what isn't necessary and I just don't really feel like these cards are necessary for me anymore. So I will remove these. Okay, and last for this binder, we have my little Twice collection. So in my last video, I downsized Twice pretty heavily. I went from, you know, just having a ton of random cards to just having a few random cards. So let's just go through this one by one and see what I want to keep. I definitely still love this set, definitely still want to keep it. And I feel the same about this. This is still, you know, one of my favorite Twice songs, Heartshaker. And definitely one of my favorite music videos of theirs as well so I want to keep this set. Then I had downsized it to nine cards for each of my top three members and I still feel fine with this. I still want to keep all of these cards. And then hmm, I'm sort of torn with what to do on this last stuff. These are just things that came with um, the twice binders that I have so I'm just going to leave them here. Um, I don't need to do anything with them. With these stickers and these postcards, I'm torn between leaving them here and straight up just like actually using them, like putting these on my wall and like using these stickers in 
my um, planner. I think I'm gonna do that, at least for the stickers. I'm actually, I know this is like sacrilege or whatever, but <laughs> I'm actually going to take these out and use them in my um, planner, which I use a lot of stickers in, so. Yeah, that just feels right to me. So that's what I'm gonna do. For now, I'm gonna leave these postcards in here. Um, I'm heavily considering taking them out and putting them on my wall though, but I'm just gonna leave them here for now and I'll come back to that thought later. All right, next I wanted to look at my tan binder. For my photo cards for her, I know that I don't want to downsize anything. Um, I'm just collecting all of her, all of her um, album photo cards for both SNSD and her solo releases, and I'm fine with that. These postcards I'm fine with as well, an album inclusion and a photo book inclusion, and then these album inclusions. The one thing I wanted to look at in this binder was um, these A4s at the back. I've just never especially I used to really like A4s and now I've like gone off them. I don't like them anymore. I never want to look at them. So we're just going to remove these A4s. I just want to look through this quickly. This is my ITZY collection. I don't actually anticipate removing anything from this. I just want to browse through it. Um, I think the only thing I have in here are their album photo cards and then this one postcard set, which I still, I still think is cute. I still like that postcard set. So, yep, yeah. Itsy's fine, not going to remove anything here. All right, the collection I anticipate doing a lot of work in, NCT. So I'm gonna start with my NCT photo card binder. First, um, I have this OT7 Cafe 7 Dream set. I still love this, I still think it's really cute. I still wanna keep it. And I feel the same about the My First and Last set. This is one of my favorite photo card sets I've ever done, and I love it. I also really loved this um, whole game card set for the Insta Dream uh, 2021 Seasons Greetings. So I will definitely keep it. And then I think the rest of these came with, um, uh, what do you call it? Like photo books and I still have these photo books so I definitely still wanna keep the photo card sets. Um, I did have one extra set in here that I removed um, before this. I actually downsized my albums and photo books like two weeks ago, I think. And um, one of the things I got rid of was their first issue of the D-Icon magazine. And I had the full nine card transparent photo card set. And I removed that when I decided to downsize um, that photo book. So yes, I had already removed that set from here prior to that. Um, so far, I don't know what I'm gonna do with, cause I know that I have like an extra card on the back here. And I don't necessarily plan to ever have more than nine, um, like of these hollow cards for Hitchon. For now, I'm gonna leave this um, and see what I get in the future and what I decide to do with the extra. I still wanna collect his album cards, so we're gonna skip past all of those. This is my one allowed nine pocket page for Dream Show cards. I still love it, I'm still gonna keep those. And I feel the same about From Home. I still love this photo shoot and I definitely wanna keep all these. Now for this. These are his non-album, these are like more of his non-album photo cards but not like specific themed ones like these two pages were. Um, I think this page is fine. Also this one, I like that these two are like a pair together, if that makes sense, I think. He has similar hair in them, if that makes any sense. Um, hmm. I'm feeling less about this page. I definitely want to keep this photo card, which is his 10 case photo card, because it is that iconic photo that I lost my mind over <laughs> during residence era. Honestly, the only thing that I really liked about the residence era photo shoots was this specific photo. <laughs> So I'm definitely keeping this. I don't feel that strongly about this photo card. This is one of his with fans cards. I think the lighting is bad. I think the lighting is bad. So I don't care about this. Then we have his Cashby and some sort of merch photo card. I can't remember what this came with. 
I love the wink though. I think it's fun. I think it's cute. We're gonna leave it. This photo card is the photo card that came with the um, second issue of the Diacon magazine, and I did still keep that um, photo book. I honestly feel nothing about this photo card, and I would straight up get rid of it, except that if I ever decide to sell that Diacon photo book, I kind of want the photo card to go with it, if that makes sense. I think that it would be better to sell it with it. I don't know. So for that reason, I think I might actually just go ahead and keep this still. I don't know. I might take this out later. Hmm. You know what? Forget it. Let's just take it out. This photo card, I already have the full set of this that came with the photo book. And then I was like, well, I want Heichon's again. I want a duplicate of it because I like it so much because it has purple hair. And you know what? I don't need it. I already have it. Why, do I, why did I ever need to? I didn't. So I'm going to downsize this. And then, you know what? So these four are the um, pre the K-Town for You pre-order benefits for the um, Season's Greetings. We have One to Seven and Dream. And you know what? I only ever loved this card. This card I love to death. But the rest of them, I feel nothing. So they can go. This card, I still think he looks great. I still like it. I'm going to keep it. This card is a hitch on Blender unit, and that's cute and I love it. So we're gonna keep that as well. And you know what this, I know I just got this, but straight up, it was an impulse purchase and I never needed it. I never needed it. So it's gonna go. And then this is the exile page for ID cards. And I at least like the layout of it, even though I don't like ID cards. And I kind of want to keep the ones that were album cards anyway. So might as well keep the whole page. I'm fine with it. Next, Runjin. So I'm still fine with collecting his album cards. I feel good about those. Let me just look at, you know, especially because I have a full nine pocket page, I feel fine with this. I don't really feel the need to downsize it. Um, maybe if I get another non-album card for him in the future, I'll consider like doing a take one out, put one in thing. But for now, I'm fine with this. Okay, now because this is small, I'll go ahead and look at my NCT uh, large inclusions that aren't specific to Hechan. I'm fine with this page. I like these things. I think they're cute. These, I don't think I need either of these, you know, these, these postcards. Um, yeah, they can go. I like these empathy postcards. I like empathy era. I'm going to keep them. However, these season's greetings postcards. I'm fine with getting rid of. I've gone off season's greetings. I don't really care about them anymore. <laughs> I don't know why that suddenly, why I suddenly um, came to that opinion, but yes, whatever the reason, I am over season's greetings. I really like this candy lab photo shoot. I think these postcards are cute. I'm gonna keep them. These came with hot sauce, which is design wise, probably my favorite thing Insty's ever done. I'm gonna keep these for now. Again, I just love hot sauce era a lot. So I'm happy to keep them. Another thing, I mentioned this earlier in the tan section, I've gone off A4s. I used to really love them. And now I don't care. I don't care about A4s. So they're all gonna go. Stickers. I still like these stickers and want them to stay in here. Okay. You know what? I actually, when I downsized my albums, I sold this album. And yeah, I forgot that it had stickers with it. So I didn't sell it with the stickers, obviously. So I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to use them in my planner. You know what? Hmm. I'm feeling kind of neutral about these from home stickers. I kind of want to use them in my planner. I definitely want to keep this in my binder because I love this whole wink photo shoot. I think it's really cute. What else do I have on here? All these hot sauce ones. You know what? I'll just leave these all in here and I'll leave the Cafe 7 Dream stickers in here as well because I actually had duplicates of them and already used the duplicates in my binder. So why would I want a second set? Okay, now the one, two, seven large inclusions. 
again, even though I sold this Love Holic album, I actually really like these um, postcards. I think they're, I think it's just because they're holographic. <laughs> so I'm fine with keeping them here, especially because they fill out this third pocket for um, these two. So I'm fine with that. I think I already, I actually, um, I had more in here, but when I downsized my albums, I actually downsized this specific, this, just this binder for some reason. I don't know why I did that. So I actually already removed like, like a few, um, one to seven postcards already. Um, I had a bunch of season's greeting stuff that I took out. So yeah, that's why there's less in here already. It's cause I already downsized it. Okay. Now the big one, the one where I'm anticipating a lot of downsizing. So, um, yeah, let me move this first of all. I was just saying how I've gone off season's greetings. So naturally these, which I already had placed here because I decided to remove them from here, but then didn't want to get rid of them. Yeah, it's just time to get rid of these um, season's greetings Polaroids. So before I start this, I wanted to talk about why I wanted to downsize my Hitchon large inclusions so much. So basically the way I would contrast this with is um, my IU collection because I use like my ult of everything kind of collection. And with her, I really want to get like absolutely everything I possibly can. Um, and she doesn't release like too much merch. So that's not like totally infeasible. I don't know if infeasible is a word, but <laughs> I think you get what I mean. But with Hitchon, I'm in a weird place because, you know, previously I wanted to get like as much as I can. That was kind of like the way I was thinking about it. But for me, it's like, I'm always going to feel unsatisfied unless my collection is one of two things. It either needs to be only the things that I love, or it needs to be like everything, like going into it with a completionist mindset. And Hitchon was kind of weird because it's sort of like in the middle. And SM releases so much merch, like so, so, so much merch. Um, and I don't want to collect all of it. I just don't want to. So yeah, I basically have made the decision to move from getting, when it comes to large inclusions, that is, getting everything I possibly can to just getting only the things that I love. And that means removing the things that I don't love is that I don't love, you know, from this collection. So that is my plan. So let's get into it. I'm literally, I'm seriously going to be ruthless. I really want to get rid of a lot. Honestly, for this first page, for these first four, um, like, film strips, no matter what, I want to keep this one because it's that from home photo, photo shoot that I love a lot. And this is my, this is the dream show photo shoot that I love a lot. So I need two more to fill out the space or to fill out the page. So I'm fine with keeping all four of these film strips. Um, on the back, you know what? I definitely want to get rid of this film cell thing that came with um, their 2020 season's greeting. And if I'm doing that, I might as well get rid of this bookmark as well. This came with a Neo City um, uh, notebook that I that I got and that I actually still use. But um, yeah, I can just use this as a bookmark rather than keep it in my binder. And I always have like, I'm one of those people that always is reading like six books at once. And I just sort of like bounce back and forth between the books until I finish one. So I need a lot of bookmarks. So yeah, I'm just going to actually use this. Okay, so I had actually rearranged this whole collection compared to like when you last saw it, um, again, a few weeks ago. Um, and that was sort of like the precursor to downsizing for me. So for myself, previously I had wanted to get like all of their postcards, like all of their official merch postcards for each era. Um, that was sort of like the in-between compromise for me. Like I can't get everything SM releases, but I can at least get all of their postcard sets but since I'm downsizing just stuff I love I styling wise hated fire truck era absolutely hated it I mean I didn't like the song either but I also didn't like the styling so I don't want these postcards anymore because I don't like the outfits that's a petty reason but I'm allowed to be petty because these are my possessions <laughs> same thing fire truck era don't care 
Hmm. I kind of feel similarly about Chewing Gum Era. I don't hate the styling, but I just don't love it either. Yeah. I'm not that into it. And if I'm not that into it, then it should go. Limitless, when it comes to like most hated styling eras, I think number one for me is Fire Truck and number two is Limitless. So obviously I don't especially care to keep these either. Although I do kind of like, I did, as much as I, I hate the haircut, but I am kind of into the bright red hair. I do think it's kind of cool. Just not with that haircut. And then to rebound to an era to I absolutely love. I loved the styling of my first and last era. Honestly, it's one of my favorite eras for them, period. So yeah, I'm going to keep all the my first and last stuff. And it feels good to me to have that be like the first thing in the binder after the film strip. So just like an era that I really love. Um, that makes me feel a lot better about the collection. Cherry Bomb. It's funny because I really love like Cherry Bomb, um, like the album design. I think it's like one of their best albums in terms of like graphic design or whatever, but I don't love the styling. I don't, I just don't. So it's gonna go. We Young. I just don't love it. I just don't love it. It's gonna go. Wow, I'm being ruthless. It's like really hitting me how ruthless I'm being. Empathy, on the other hand, I did love the styling of this era. I think it's great. So I am going to keep the two empathy postcards and the empathy four by six. Um, I think I'm just going to, I'm going to keep these as well. Um, again, I still, when I downsized my albums, I did keep both of the Empathy albums. So I don't feel a particular like drive or desire to keep these outside of that. But, you know, if I ever want to, if I ever like go even crazy, even f crazier, even further and decide to sell those albums, I would want to do it with the diaries included. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep these as long as I have the albums. So these two are the two photos for his um, chain, for the Chain Japan Showcase Tour. And these are fan-made. These are just like to fill this empty space. I absolutely love this photo. It's so fucking cute. So for that reason alone, I'm going to leave this whole page alone. Hmm. We go up again that's an era that i really really love um i kept that album when i downsized my albums so i think i'm going to keep these as well and i did i did downsize this album um when i downsized them but i do really love this photo so i think i'm just going to keep both of these um and this as well um i'm just going to keep all those and then his awaken stuff um i did downsize this album i got rid of all the japanese releases when i downsized um, but just to fill out the space, I think I'm going to um, keep it. Superhuman postcard in 4x6. You know what? Both music and styling wise, I didn't love Superhuman. It wasn't really my thing. So I'm going to get rid of both of these. Hmm. I feel kind of neutral i never really cared for the 127 summer package that much but i love this whole orange hoodie and the whole styling of the dream summer package and to fill out a four pocket page you know what i'll just leave this as it is um let's see you know what i never liked the boy scout uniform it's weird it reminds me of my little brother i don't like it and like I said before, I never really cared for the styling. So I think what I'm going to do is keep the Polaroids for both of the summer packages and then get rid of everything else for the summer packages. Hmm. 
So these are his postcards for the Neo City Soul exhibition and the Neo City World Tour one. Controversial opinion, I never liked the gray hair. I didn't like it, it wasn't my thing. So I'm gonna get rid of both of these. And then on the back, his Wee Boom 4x6. I feel nothing about it. I didn't like Boom. You know what? I'll say it. I never liked Boom <laughs> as a song. Um, I liked the design of the era. I liked the whole like checkerboard thing, the whole Vans kind of thing. I don't know. I, I associate this pattern with Vans in my mind. I liked that, but I just didn't like the song. So this can go. Um, I'm neutral about this. I'm just going to leave this. I'm going to leave this page. Dream Show. I love it. I get emotional about it. I love the Dream Show photo book as well, so I'm going to leave these postcards. Said it earlier, and I'm going to say it again, I've gone off season's greetings. I don't care about them anymore. They're going to go. Neozone. This concept, this Bruce Lee thing, I'll never shut up about it. It's the best thing they ever, ever did. I can't believe that the album concepts had like almost nothing to do with this concept except for the T version and even then it was only partially like I'll never stop being mad about it because it's my favorite thing they've ever did and it's their best music video. I just I'm biased because I really love Bruce Lee but I'm keeping these obviously. And the same about all this Neo Zone stuff it's staying for obvious reasons. You know what? When I downsized my albums, I kept these albums because I really liked these photo shoots, but I'm kind of thinking of downsizing them. I kept both Wee Boom versions and both Reload versions, but I'm kind of feeling like downsizing the albums because I don't love the design and I dislike the title tracks for both of those eras. So yeah, I think I will get rid of the albums. I think I just decided that I will do that. But because I do like the photo shoots, I will keep the postcard in 4x6 for reload. And Punch, you know what? Never liked it. <laughs> I keep I keep saying that, but I just, yeah, I don't know. There's a stuff where it's like I, I collected it out of obligation and not out of love. And I need to stop doing that. I need to stop doing that. His Nature Republic postcards. I like them, but I just don't love them, especially because the back has like another member name on the back because of the way the postcard book worked. It's just kind of annoying. It's like not very organized. It doesn't feel organized to me to have it in the binder. So I'll take them out. The sun is starting to set already. So I should probably hurry up. You know what? I always hated the resonance um, photo shoots. What is up with that? That album was good. I really like that album. There are some great songs on it, but they gave us this. Are you kidding? For the big NC 2020, I'll never stop being mad about it. So we don't want those anymore. What have I been saying? What have I been saying? I've gone off season's greetings. <laughs> I don't care about them anymore. Um, I'm going to take out almost everything. You know, the one thing I'll say is I love this postcard. I'm definitely not getting rid of it. If I can't figure out a way to like make it flow correctly in my binder, then maybe I'll take it out and put it on my wall. But like, it's staying, like I'm keeping it no matter what. It's so cute. Should I keep all three of these? I really just love this one. I'll keep all three of these in here for now and then I'll see what I'll do with them later. But I'll get rid of the rest of this. These are cutouts from the um, yearbook collecting book. You know what? I never needed them. I didn't need them in the first place. Next. 90s love postcard and Diacon magazine postcard. I don't need the Diacon magazine postcard and I never really loved the styling for 90s love, so I 
can go as well. So this is from the little like mini postcard set from Resonance Part 1. And again, I didn't like this photo shoots for this era either. I didn't like them. So why do I have this? And then I never needed these in the first place. This was totally an impulse purchase and I'm paying for it now. So we'll take these out. These are his family mark prints. But again, I just didn't, I just don't need them, you know? And we're trying to get rid of things we don't need here today. And then we've got From Home stuff. Now I've spoken again and again about how much I love this From Home photo shoot. I love the lighting and the styling. It is literally perfect. I think it goes without saying that I will be keeping all of these items. Then Hot Sauce. Um, these are the postcards that came with the Hot Sauce album. Hot Sauce, like again, graphic design wise is like my favorite thing they've ever ever done so I'm definitely going to keep all of these then we have his two postcards or his two Polaroids for uh, Hello Future and these two photos that came with um, uh, a merch thing for uh, Hello Future obviously I like all this stuff still I think I'm still gonna keep it and then again more hot sauce merch which I'm definitely keeping Okay, I think I'm going to downsize this stuff a lot as well. So first we have his 2018 Seasons Greetings um, stuff. I, dude, say it with me. I'm over Seasons Greetings. <laughs> so I'm getting rid of these. I downsized my Regulate album and forgot about this. Again, I forgot that was an album inclusion. I'm kind of over it. I don't need it. I don't need it. So I will take it out. I might actually contact the person that I sold that album to and ask if they want this. And then if they don't want it, then I will sell it separately. This is something that came with the DICON magazine. And this is something from their Ace fan club. Again, I just have a strong feeling that I don't need either of these things. So we'll take both of them out. This is something from that, um, notebook that I told you about before that I removed the um bookmark for this is like a little divider in the notebook and I literally cut it out so I could put it in the binder but now I'm just feeling like I don't need it I just feel like I don't need it so it will go and again season's greetings we're not into it we're over it and lastly for this binder I have um a bunch of his A4s. I have, I'm missing like two or three in the very beginning, like Fire Truck, my first and last chewing gum. But other than that, I have all of them. And I have his Hello Future one on the way, actually. But like I said earlier in this video, I've just gone off A4s. I'm just not into them anymore. I never look at them. And if I'm not like looking at it, and appreciating it regularly then why do I have it that's I don't know that's kind of my philosophy on it so because of that I'm gonna get rid of all of my A4s all of them and I feel better after that all right so that is everything that I'm getting rid of I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff and I feel really good about it I think this is gonna get me I don't know, like engaged and excited about my collection again. I think these kind of clear outs are, I don't know, they always do that for me. So yeah, if you want to purchase any of these things, uh, you know, hit me up on Instagram. I've got the link in the description. Um, yeah, message me and uh, we'll work something out. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.